Hey guys, what's up? So FirstLice.com, a website that I've honestly never been to until Steph showed me this one link, released an article and a video explaining what they felt the perfect girlfriend would be like. Not to mention, most of them probably don't even have girlfriends, especially after writing this article. But to sum it up, the perfect girlfriend came down to one specific name, Sarah Underwood. They depicted this image of a gamer girl not not a not a girl gamer you know a gamer girl who's literally lounging around in not so seductive poses drinking beer eating pizza no and playing xbox wait hold on back up a minute is the controller even on mm, nope no nope, it, it isn't not to mention, she took the calmest bite of a pizza I've ever seen. If she was honestly in the midst of a game, she would be tearing at that pizza like it was the carcass of a dead gazelle. I don't know a single person who plays standing up. And honestly, she's pressing every button but the L and R sticks. Don't get me wrong, she has her fingers on them, but they're not really moving anywhere. I'm honestly pretty convinced that she doesn't even drink the beer. Mato's gotta keep that figure though. But there's just one question that's burning through my mind. If this video was made to depict the perfect girlfriend, then where's the boyfriend? Because all I've gotten from this video was the perfect girlfriend is half naked, under boob for the win, plays Xbox, eats pizza, drinks beer, and for some reason, eats Twix? That's a pretty strange combo. And I would understand if she was cuddling up with some guy playing video games with him, you know, having a romantic moment. No. It's just this half-naked girl for about three or four minutes of the video. Honestly, all I see is another video to help 18-year-olds jack off after school. Tissue power! Activate! Look, I'm not saying that this is going against female rights or any other feminist view that's out there and honestly I'm very surprised they didn't chew this video up but then again like you only see feminists in places that they're wrong and not oh god I'm gonna get so destroyed but all I'm saying is that if you want to advertise Xbox Pizza Hut Coors Light and for some reason Twix I don't I don't get Don't do it with a caption such as the perfect girlfriend. Cause we all have our own depiction of the perfect girlfriend. And honestly, saying something like that is gonna take a young girl's mind and make her feel like she wouldn't be the perfect girlfriend. Her image of self-worth would basically be destroyed. See, Stephanie, who helps me record gaming, would be the perfect girlfriend to me. Because she plays video games with me, she helped me build this channel from the ground up to where it is now. It's not far, but I mean, hey, this is getting there. And more than anything, she just takes care of me, just like I take care of her. I don't need her to wear revealing outfits or play Xbox One, ew. Because it's the bond that me and her have that makes her the perfect girlfriend. For Sarah Underwood, her looks and sex appeal makes her very attractive and probably someone that most men would want to bang. But as for being the perfect girlfriend, playing Xbox and eating Pizza Hut just doesn't cut it. Now if it was PlayStation and Domino's Pizza, <laughs> that, that was, that was a joke. It was a joke. JK. Plus, honestly, I would have a lot of issues with someone that kept throwing the controller over and over again. God, this was like, honestly, this was practically my mindset every single time I saw her throw the controller. Oh! Throw that, it's expensive to somebody. Well, honestly, guys, tell me what you think of this video. Do you honestly believe that this depicts the perfect girlfriend? Or do you feel like they just made this video to basically sell Xbox cords like and... I still don't understand the whole Twix. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, game on.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the show, please hit the like, favor, and subscribe buttons down below. No animals were harmed in the making of this film, and if you think we did, well then you're still a shallow prick. Don't forget some of the past videos that I did, which can be found in that box right there. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and as always, you guys are fucking beautiful.